Hello guys, um, good day. Uh, it's a quick training uh, on behalf of the ebitcoinist.com team. And um, we want to teach you how to convert your GCR coins to Bitcoin on ubit.net. And take note that this can be applied to any other coin listed on ubit.net. Uh, you can just either convert your bitcoins into altcoins or you change your altcoins into bitcoin so first thing you need to do is to visit the website um, yourbit.net you have to be sure you're on top of yourbit.net because there are lots and lots of scam websites out there that portrays to be yourbit.net so um, having made sure if you are new you would have to make sure you create an account for yourself, which is very, very easy. Using your email, you add your security settings, whatever, you just are on the go. And if you already have an account, all that you need to do is to log in. Right now I'm logged in here, and this is my account. And this is the Yobist um, interface or uh, user dashboard or whatever you can call it. So we want to change GCR coin into Bitcoin, which means it is an altcoin we want to convert into Bitcoin. Or maybe you have Bitcoin and you want to convert it to an altcoin like Dash, GCR, or maybe Ethereum. So the first thing you need to do, having logged in very well, um, what you need to do first is to make sure you click on wallets. Now, um, it will take a couple of seconds to open up the wallet page for you. Actually, Yobit gives every user access to a, a web wallet. Um, it's an exchange, so you wouldn't want to trust um, keeping all your funds, all your money on top of an exchange, which is uh, coming with huge risks. So what you can do is to make sure whatever amount you do have on an exchange, you are just spending it or you're working with it. That is, if you're a trader. So um, you can see my account is 000 from up to down. So I want to convert uh, GCR coin into Bitcoin. The only thing you need to do is to make sure that um, if it is GCR coin you want to convert, make sure you deposit GCR into your wallet. You have to add GCR funds into your wallet. So now what I need to do is to search here. So GCR it will pop up. This is the GCR coin inbuilt wallet Yobit is having for me. So when I click on deposit, it means I want to add coins in my wallet. If I click, uh, if I click on withdrawal, it means I have GCR coins and I want to withdraw it out of um, Yobit.net or I want to take it out of Yobit.net. And um, deposit as usual means I am adding now every account you have an you have access to a wallet address you understand so now that address is what you are going to um, use to deposit funds into your, your bid wallet call it your account number it's as simple as that and if it is Bitcoin you just need to search for Bitcoin BTC here is it you click on deposit and then it will generate for you an address to send funds to convert now I am going to deposit GCR um, into my wallet so I would click on deposit copy my address and then I will send the funds from my external wallet we wait to the wallet or the funds that I sent reflects it so you can see my account balance is basically um, 0, 0, 0, 0. so let's wait for a couple of seconds I'm going to send funds from my external wallet once it reflects now we uh, we follow the next procedure how to successfully convert the altcoin called GCR into Bitcoin. All right, yeah, so I've been able to deposit GCR coins into my Yobit wallet. And as you can see, um, it says four out of 20 confirmations. So the confirmation is still in process. Actually, it takes time, a bit of time. Uh, it depends on which coin you're sending. Um, if it is Bitcoin, it depends on the miners. If it is a GCR coin, for example, it's a pure, it's a proof of stake coin. And that depends on whatever confirmation process the wallet signs onto that particular transaction. And if it is Ethereum, so you just have to be patient. Whatever coin you are trying to convert into another, once you are depositing or you're sending funds from your external wallet to your Yobit.net 
account, you should be ready to wait for the confirmation. So um, I'm just waiting for these coins to be fully confirmed. I said about 136.78 GCR coin, and I want to convert that into Bitcoin. Now, um, now we have about four confirmations signed. Let me refresh this wallet and see how many confirmations we can have. I want this process to be practical so that um, once you're watching this, you can be very confident that now you can trade 100% on Yobit.net between um, other cryptocurrencies. Now, Yobit.net, they have about, I think, three main websites. They do have um, Yobit.net, which I am on top of right now, and they also do have um, Yobit.io. And um, with Yobit.io is the same. You, it brings you back to the same user interface. So let me show you yobit.io. It will still give us a search to the account. It's the same thing. They are just, you know, giving you options of which you can remember. This is yobit.io. And then they also have um, yobitx, which is yobit exchange, you know. So it, it's, it goes like this, so yobitx.net. And it depends on you, the user, which you want to use. So basically, I love to use yobit.net, but these three platforms are all for your bid and you, you it's very safe secured you know that you are dealing with your bid but i love to use your bit.net i refresh my page again and i still have about um by now we should be five but let me see it's loading currently it's four out of 20 um I'm trying to refresh i don't know what's happening but it's kind of loading i have to be patient and uh i see Still loading, cancel this and then reload it. Um, okay, I still have four. So guys, we just need to be patient. We wait for some time. Okay, loading done. Uh, we just have to see our balance now. Uh, we have six out of 20. So it's going to take a couple of seconds, minute. And uh, we just wait. Uh, we once it's ready then we start transacting all right guys so finally um i think the gcr coins after going through 20 confirmations is now fully confirmed and if i click on my wallet as you can see we have um a balance on gcr in fact if you are going to hide all my zero balances you realize for gcr only as a coin we have 136 point seventy eight GCR over there. Now the wallet as I said you can always deposit which is add more funds depending on what coin you want to convert into Bitcoin or what Bitcoin you want to convert into any other coin. And then the withdrawal now that I have a balance I can withdraw uh, my maximum and do whatever it is that I want to do with my coin. So now that we have the GCR coin let's quickly go to the marketplace and then start selling. So obviously this is the market and we want to trade GCR coin for Bitcoin. So we have to be present on top of Bitcoin's market. We have to be present on top of Bitcoin's market. So therefore we click on BTC. Now we have different, different, different markets. We have Bitcoin, we have um, Ethereum market, we have lots of other markets and you just have to decide what you want you just have to decide what you want and then you trade on your favorite market um we want to trade gcr coin for bitcoin so um uh, we, we we click on the bitcoin market and we search for gcr here on top of bitcoin market and um you click on the direction to actually open for you the GCR market. If you can realize when I logged in to Yobit.net, um, the default market open for me was Dash against BTC. And now you can see on my interface, let me annotate my screen and um, I help you with a spotlight to see what I'm actually doing. Now you see here, the market has completely changed to GCR. And this is 
the last price offered by someone on top of our GCR, whether the person was buying or he was selling, or a seller met a buyer or a buyer met a seller. However, you can define it, that's fine. And this 24 high is how high GCR coin price has hit in the last 24 hours. And this is how low, uh, in terms of 24 hour period, um, this coin has been traded and the entire volume exhibited on this coin on top of yobe.net in btc which is 0 0.5 btc now we have gcr and we want to change it to bitcoin so which market are we going to use obviously we are going to use the sell um, aspect of the market and as you can see on my screen over here um let me draw this circle to help you this is when i have bitcoin and then i want to buy gcr coin but over here also is when i have gcr coin and then i want to use my gcr coin to buy bitcoin or whether i want to convert my gcr to bitcoin or whatever it is that you can call it so we have the gcr and as you can see on my screen once more we have 136 gcr coin point something which is irrelevant and then we want to convert this much of gcr into bitcoin let's say you have about 10,000 gcr and now you want to convert about thousand out of your 10,000 you can do that over here now this prices you can see at this side is what i can currently sell any of these units of coins I have. And then if I have Bitcoin, this is how much I am willing to also spend my Bitcoin to buy GCR coin. And you have to also be sure of the volume. You have to make sure that the volume you are trading with is okay against the volume and price you are selling. I am not going to be very technical on this presentation and I am not going to go extremely deep on how to do that blah no we're not going to do that over here but the only thing i have to remind you of is you just have to be very very careful and pay attention to what price you're selling so i have 136.78 gcr coin and these are the sell prices so the current sell prices we have 909 we have 912 we have uh, 930 whatever is here and then the buy prices we have 906 904 902 now if i am going to use the sell prices it can take a bit of time before my order gets filled because someone would have to uh you know someone would have to be willing to actually sell to me at my price but if i want to go too fast i simply come to the buy I look at what prices people are willing to buy GCR coin instantly, and I also get my bitcoins out of them, uh, out of that instantly. The only thing that can encourage you is you look at the first buy, uh, the first two buys, and which we have 906 and then 904, and then the first two sells we have 906, 912. So the difference is a bit close. So obviously. You don't have to wait till someone is willing to offer 909 before you sell. 906 is actually very close to what you can trade off with. So now I have 136.78 match of GCR coin and I want to sell it directly because someone is willing to buy it from me instantly at 906. And how many coins in total is this individual willing to sell to me? He's having 12906 match of GCR coin 0.44 to sell or to buy with um, a total of 0 0.116 bitcoins. So obviously I have less than what the person wants and it means my order can get filled almost instantly for me. So now if I want to sell, the only thing I need to do is just to look at this price, the buy walls. So now these are the buy walls. So obviously 906 is good for me. How many GCR coins do I want to sell? I come here and then I type it. I have 136. So maybe I want to sell 100 GCR coins. Or if I want to sell everything, I click on my total balance and it will tot uh, automatically um, calculate for me minus the fee, which is 0.2%. Your bid is actually charging me.
Right. So minus a fee, your bit is actually charging me than I do. I can buy, sell and then re buy back. But right now, our number one priority is to actually convert this altcoin called GCR into Bitcoin. So now I am okay with the pricing. I'm okay with the whatever. I am not going to use the sell aspect or the sell interface of um, of my trade today. Why? Because it can take a bit of time. But I am just looking at um, how I can quickly um, sell these coins. And it means that when I consider what prices people are willing to buy their coins right now instantly, it means it is going to be very, very fast. I mean, extremely fast for me. So with this, I simply um, trade off and I am okay with whatever trade I have done. So I, I am okay with the price, number one. I have enough coins that I want to sell. So all that I need to do is to click on sell. Yes, all that I need to do is to click on sell. And the moment I click on sell, it is done. These coins will automatically be converted for me into Bitcoin. So I click on sell, selling um, is loading, depending on your internet, whatever you are having, you know, um, that uh, trade is happening, it's going on, it's going on. I don't know what's happening. Boom, it's done. And you see, sell order completed, sell 136.78.77 GCR. And like magic, I did not have Bitcoin in my Yobit account. So I have been able to convert my GCR coin into Bitcoin. And this is now my Bitcoin balance I have. If I want to buy back, I can buy it. So now let's confirm. Is it true we've really converted the GCR coins into Bitcoin? All right, we can only confirm this by visiting the wallets, we, our, our, our user um, back office or our wallets before we can really confirm this. So I click on wallet, wallet is loading, and this is what I have. Initially, we had lots and lots of coins over here with zero, 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 and then we added GCR coin on top of this, and now we, do, we no longer have GCR. Like if we search for GCR, it is zero, 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 zero. What do we have now? We've been able to successfully convert our GCR coin to Bitcoin. Guys, this is all that you need to do. You can repeat this for any other coin listed on your bit. As you can see, there are thousands of coins here you can trade. So you just need to apply. If it is Bitcoin, it means you just need to deposit Bitcoin first. And then whatever coin you want to buy, you quickly go. These are the basics you need to do when you are trading on an exchange. Then you can apply whatever it is that you've learned in this video to platforms like um, uh, Polynex, uh, Binance, uh, Bitrace, and a lot more. So guys, thank you so much for watching. No, wait, before that, let's say you have successfully converted your coins into Bitcoin. What do you need to do? Now you need to withdraw. So if I want to take my Bitcoins out, I simply go to my private wallet, I copy my Bitcoin wallet address, then I paste it here. Then um, how much do I want to withdraw? I type the amount of Bitcoin I want to withdraw. There are slight fees, um, your, your Bit will also charge you. Then I'll minus that, you receive the rest in your coins. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this and um, subscribe to our channel, uh, eBitcoinX TV. And there are lots and lots more tutorials unfolding. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Have a great day.